Well, good morning. You join me at Charlie's Lake in Shropshire, and today we're going to be fishing crankbaits for perch. I'm mainly going to be using the Selmo Hornets and the new rail shad, and hopefully, we're going to bang a few perch out and maybe a big one. Well, as you already know, we're fishing hornets and I'm going to introduce you to the new rail shad a bit later. I uh, just wanted to go through with you just the ways you fish them, really. Uh, it couldn't be any more simple. It's a case of just fan casting about, covering as much water as possible and just varying the retrieve. If you want to get down straight away, to the maximum depth that you know each individual horn it will run and a quick couple of cranks of the handle will get you down and it's just a case of a steady retrieve from there little pauses dead simple anybody can fish them and on the right day they catch you a lot of fish indeed from all sorts of species crankbaits as you know are a great way of, of locating fish and it enables you to cover a lot of water very quickly and hopefully you'll find one or two along the way. Um, once you've found a few you can concentrate on that area. Um, so it's an ideal bait for searching the water. Keep fan casting around trying to locate them. And if you don't have any success on one colour try another because often colour can play a a big part on the day. Vary your retrieve, you can strike crank them, you can uh, long pauses so that lure hits the deck and rises back up again and often you get get a bit of weed like that, it's always important to obviously clean your lure off uh, before you continue fishing, even the little strands of, of weed that you sometimes pick up on the trebles or take off because all that will impair how that lure actually works in the water. Uh, this one in particular uh, works down to about three and a half foot and I know from this area it's from what, I've, what we've been told anyway it's about four to five feet. You can also uh, troll them off the boat. If I was to troll this one I could get it down to, to nine feet would you believe and then the bigger hornets all go down to sort of 15 and and 20 feet. You may notice that I'm not using a wire trace and that's purely because it, uh, there's no pike in this lake. If there was then I'd be using a, a lighter wire that I can possibly get away with. So I'm trying to keep everything light and as balanced as possible so that crankbait works as it's intended to. Okay, so we've covered the uh, the shallower end of the lake uh, with the small three and a half centimetre uh, hornets. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't located anything there, so I've come round to the deeper end of the lake, uh, an area that I'm told is down to about 14 foot, and the lure I'm going to be using is the new rail shed from Selmo. Um, it's a lure predominantly, well, designed for vertical and fishing off the side of the boat or ice fishing however you can cast these as well they sink like a brick get down on the deck and the unique thing about the rail shed is this rail that you're where you attach uh, your quick link slides up and down 
and, and the reason for that is because it allows that lure to sink horizontally in the water. So it will always sink on a slack line or whatever, or on a tight line, whoops, horizontally down in the water column instead of a, at a steep angle or, you know, so it's always fishing. Perfect for working off the boat over a weed bed or something like that, where you can just stay stationary over a feature and literally vertical straight over it. But you can fish them casting, they cast a hell of a long way and uh, hopefully we'll find a few perch this way. We'll give it a go and see what happens. So I'm just trying to feel that lure down until it hits the deck so I'll get an idea of how deep that area is. And then I'm just slowly itching that lure back towards me. It doesn't give off any uh, vibration as you'd expect with a, with a vein on the front. It's more of a very erratic side to side and up and down movement. But a great way uh, to fish and locate fish very quickly. Like all crankbaits and and this new bait from Salmo. They work fant they're a fantastic bait for searching power fishing as some people call it. Locating fish very quickly. So we'll carry on. Cover the water by fan casting about and hopefully I'm gonna find one or two. Now as you'd expect the rail shag comes in various colours as well. For now it's just the one size. Uh, it comes in four different colours, I think it is four or five anyway. A couple of uh, natural patterns and then a couple of uh, quite loud patterns, bright patterns and the one I'm using is a, a red coral fish pattern. It's important that you, you understand or you try and envisage where that lure is at any one time in the water column, especially when you're fishing over weed because it sinks so quickly you'll soon be in it. So when you're casting you, you need to concentrate and try and keep that lure above the deck and above the weed at all times. Good one. Oh, it is a nice one. Yes, that's a four. That might be a four pounder. Happy days. Okie dokie. Well, we've just uh, changed over to a light rod so I can get a bit more feel on that little three and a half centimetre hornet and I've only gone and banked to four and I'm going to show you it can't believe it first proper fish from Charlie's Lake and we got a four pounder. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. Four pounds, one ounces. 
Oh. Try and show the little uh, the dorsal off for you. But there you go. Sell my Hornet in their chartreuse colour. Three and a half centimetre. We've got an absolutely beauty. That's our prize. Happy days. Okay, so we just caught that wonderful perch at four pound and one ounces, and now I'm going to just quickly show you the rod that I'm using. Um, this is the Thai Pro Twitch and Jig, and the reason I'm using this rod is because it's got a little bit more sensitivity. It's rated from three to fourteen gram, and it just allows me to load the rod up on the cast and sling these tiny little crankbaits as far as I can. Uh, with that, a really light braid. It, uh, this is uh, £10 and then a fluorocarbon trace leader and purely because there's no pike in here so I'm not worried about being bitten off. From that, for the heavier hornets and in particular today the rail sheds, I'm using the Salmo Hornet Light. Um, this is 5 to 20 gram. Ideal, like I say, for the bigger hornets and the new rail sheds. Uh, and basically that's it and again a, a very light braid 10 pound braid again and, and the reason for such a light braid is so I can cut through that water column and make sure those lures run to their true depths and that's it Right, one last cast Hope that um, you've got a little insight into a bit of crank bait fishing uh, with the Hornets and, and the rail shad as well. Great new lures from Salmo and hopefully you can put one or two of these into your own armoury and go out and catch a waffle like we did earlier. So big ups from Charlie's Lake.